STX in its natural environment. Look at the color. It's trying to warn you not to forget it. What a rare occasion. There are only 2,500 known in the wild today. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Michael for November. I hope you don't mind the joke. Another day, another try. And today I'm a little bit better prepared. Let's see what we can do. So, yesterday when I walked back, I had the idea that I could use the same principle uh, Hamshop.cz used as a pocket antenna, stealth antenna, with an end fed half wave. And I built one yesterday, I checked it, and I'm going to try it today. This time on 40 meters, because the chances to get a contact are much higher on 40 meter than they are on 30 meter, and maybe I can even try uh, SSP contact. Let's see. I'm going to tell you something else today um, regarding the motivational thing. I mean, today it was not that bad because it happens to be that if you have a mission, suddenly you have motivation. And my mission was to come back here today with the antenna that works and show you how it can be done. So, I thought of ways how to do it. I hopefully fixed it and we'll do that. But the forest has not lost any bit of its beauty. Now look at that. In Germany we call them Himbeere. I don't know the term for them in English. They, they grow here. They are now edible. And they are really yummy. Mm. So, I'm back at the same location I was yesterday. And now I'm trying to set up my antenna. Or let me first show you uh, my setup because it has changed a little. And let's start with the fact that I brought a selfie stick with me, which also uh, double functions as tripod. So hopefully you'll get better footage today. So let's have a look at the pouch again. A logbook. A true SDX. This time an orange color. I shamefully stole the, the tin. Uh, it is in there. Yesterday I designed and printed uh, the stolen design from hamshop.cz. This is uh, NFAT half wave. This is uh, like you would buy them probably as insulators. I just printed that pretty fast. Um, this is a UNUN un un unbalanced, unbalanced transformer. 1 to 49 impedance transformation. This is a fishing weight that I'm using to put up the antenna and I have here this is Dacron this is a, a fiber that it's that is used to to make a bow sinew uh, pretty tough stuff and very thin and light okay so here's my paddle again, cable and as a novum. Yesterday you saw that. You probably ask yourself, what about the orange thing? I designed a new bottom for the True STX and you can just slide it on here. So the battery is underneath the True STX. And you might ask yourself, why did he leave it open in the bottom? That's on purpose, because that's my kind of emergency switch. Just by tapping it somewhere, I can kick the batteries out. So I did that on purpose. Well, unfortunately, it turned out to be harder than I thought it would be. I brought not enough uh, string. 
so I needed to elevate it lower than I would like to have elevated it you can probably cannot see it I'm going to walk there there you can see the the blazing orange insulator I'm going to move it so you can see it this is the end of the end fed the other side is on a string and the string is on a on a tree and the opposite end I'm going to uh, attach to the ground with a string and a nail let's see so that's the setup this is the the string that goes to a nail to the ground this is uh, the end fed half wave this is the unun and here we have the connection to the true sdx the true sdx comes with its own battery pack we're going to start that now so and immediately there's reception on 40 meter let's see I'm going to do, I'm going to check uh, SWR 1.19, 3.7 watts, okay. So, at least we should be able to get a contact under these conditions. Let's call secure, I guess. After all the securing, I just touched the core and it gets pretty hot. So we are losing a lot of energy here. Um, I calculated around about a half watt. And yeah, that's to be avoided if you use bigger core material. Okay, no success. Let's see if we can find another station. Okay, and two EBD.
<laughs> Got it. So, that was cool. We have proof of concept. The end fed half wave works. And we had a long QSO with IN3 EBZ. Seems to be a German uh, from his name, Gerd. Uh, he also gave me a clear text in German in CW, which is pretty hard to understand. I'm really happy that I had the CW decoder inside because clear text is always a little bit more tough. And this guy seems to be a hardcore CW. I like that. And he even uh, reduced his speed for me, which is very nice. So, Gerd, I hope uh, you will watch the YouTube video. You will be in here. Thanks for the QSO, man. Really appreciate it because uh, <laughs> I was thinking, I was starting to think that uh, I would be going home without a QSO today as well, which would be a shame. So, now we have something to celebrate. I'm going to surprise myself and you. I brought myself a bottle of my favorite beer here, so I'm going to enjoy that now. Cheers, friends. I think TrueSDX has a bug now. But debugging is easy. Just go away, my little friend. It's nothing for you. CQ, CQ40, CQ40, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November Portable. CQ, CQ40, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November Portable. So, let's finish with a little bit end fed half wave theory. Um, an end fed half wave is half of lambda. So this means in case of 40 meter band, it's 20 meter long, that's a half wave. And end fed, this half wave is high ohmic. And since we have 50 ohms on our transceiver, this means uh, we need to transform that from 50 ohm to whatever high ohmic end fed half wave has. It's in the 1000 ohms region, and this is a transformer that does exactly that. That's the whole deal about that. And uh, since radiation happens where current flows, um, and current flows usually where the resistance, or in, in our case impedance, is low, this happens to have, uh, this happens to be in the middle at lambda fourth, probably. So this is usually the point you should have the highest in the air to make it happen. In my case, it's only, <laughs> I would guess, two to three meters up in the air because I couldn't get very high on the other end. It would be better to have that middle point more up uh, and then go down again, like a tent or something like that. Um, that would be even better for the radiation pattern, but we have now three factors that are not pretty good. One is I only have three watts. Two is my antenna is very low. Three, we are surrounded by trees that attenuate further. So far away from optimum and that's the theory of the end fed half wave. Ah yeah, and by the way, just to mention that again, this core goes into saturation. It's too small for the amount of power we are running through that. So it heats up additionally and costs more energy. From the 3 watt coming out here, I think probably 2.5 watt arrive here. The rest is transforming into heat in that core. But 
it was enough to make a contact today and I'm happy about that. Okay, let's finish for today. I'm going to pack my stuff now. I'm going to get the antenna, try to pull out the, the fishing weight out of the tree. I hope I can get it down. Walk back to the car and call it a day. 73, good luck. Bye bye.